Hey, what's going on guys? In this episode, I'm going to show you how I spool up a uh, braided line onto my reels. Uh, I get asked this question quite, quite often by people who are just starting to uh, get into fishing or people who are just starting to uh, use braided line. So I'm going to show you how I do it and I'm going to show you how you can do it alone. So I'm going to share a, a small hack with you guys. So let's get right to it. So right here with me I have a brand new Stella that I got a few months ago and I still haven't uh, put it to use so I need to get some line on here and today I will be putting some uh, 30 pound power pro and I have 300 yards here and I know that uh, this 6000 Stella should roughly, roughly be able to take this entire spool. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously take off this spool sticker now if you notice this spool is aluminum right and braid does not adhere uh, too well on aluminum so before you unlike mono monofilament right before you spool braid on uh, to an aluminum spool what I like to do is I like to take some regular electric tape and what I generally do is I get a few I get a few wraps on the spool so that once I get the electrical tape on the spool it's going to uh, give a surface that the braid can bite onto and hold onto and it, it will not cause slippage. So I'm just going to go around maybe twice. Just like that. And just going to use this. Never mind. And that's what you end up with. You end up with this tape around the spool. And see this, this now provides a soft surface that uh, the braided line can, uh, can bite into. So the next thing I do, I don't know if you guys have ever tried spooling line alone. It, it's always a pain to hold on to this spool. You know, sometimes you have to put a pencil or a pen through this and hold it with your legs with, you know, and while you reel it with the hand. And I find that really annoying. So what I'd like to do is I like to take an old reel and I will spool all this line onto the old reel first. Just follow with me. Guys, this is an old, very old reel that I have lying around and as you can see, it's a very big reel, right? It can hold easily uh, 500 to 600 uh, yards of uh, 20, 30 uh, pound line that I use. So what, I, what I'd like to do is I like to get this line onto this reel first. So what I usually do is I get, I have some own line here, it's some 20 pound line, this, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just gonna tie the new line onto this. So I'm, oops, if I could just get that. So I get this through and I have the old line, right? And I have the old line right here. And what I do is I take the new line and I just put a, I mean, you don't need to do a, a fancy knot, guys. I just need this line to hold on to this. So I'm just going to hold it together and just do one overhand knot, just like so. There. And now I'm just simply going to put this spool somewhere on the floor or wherever and I'm just going to tighten up the drag and just pull in all this line onto this reel. Okay, 
So I've spooled the entire 300 yards of the new line onto this old reel. And now what I'm going to do is just loosen the drag and get this line to go through the first guy. And I'm going to set this rod down right here on my rod rack. Now next what you want to do is you want to take you want to take your new uh, new reel, put it on on a rod, and just put that on there. And then we're just simply going to pass the new line through through the guide, and we are going to tie this on. Uh, to the spool now how, there are any number of different knots guys that you can use i just like to use a simple uni knot and the reason i like the uni knot is that uh, the uni knot is kind of like a noose when you uh, when you tie it around something with a big diameter so as it as it uh, turns it tightens on itself so all you do is very simply just make a loop say around that size and you're gonna tie a uni knot at this end, okay? Just go around about three or four times. That's more than enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that like so, right? And as you can see, as you pull this, see it gets smaller. See this? It gets it tightens on itself. So you want to keep, say, about six inches, right? And then you want to make a loop just like that and double it over. See this? See now? Now there's two loops. After this, you need to open the bale. That's very important. And slide the two loops. Slide the two loops onto the spool and gently just pull. And as you pull, you can see it tightens on each other, on itself. And there you go. Now it's already dug into the tape. It's not going to slip. So once you do that, you close the bale. And the most important thing, guys, when uh, spooling line with braid is that you keep very tight tension. Now this is the annoying part if you're doing it by yourself, if you're, if you're uh, you know, putting, trying to secure the spool onto uh, uh, like something in between your legs or you know, you put a pencil and you try to hold it. Keeping if you're doing this by yourself, keeping tension is going to be the toughest thing. But since I've put the end of this line onto that reel, the cool thing is, right, tighten this, make sure you get the first few loops pretty tight and now I can go ahead and tighten the drag on this reel and that's my tension adjuster so all I have to do now is just this reel see that it's coming on really tight and you just keep going till you know you've got all the line on Now, one thing you always want to keep uh, in mind or keep an eye on when spooling line is the line lay, right? You want the line lay on your uh, reel to be uh, nice and even and straight. And if you find that it's either laying line too high or too low, then you need to stop. You need to take the spool off. You need to either add a washer or, or take a washer off, depending on where it's laying the line. So that's really important. So. Every time you are laying, I'm uh, sorry, you're spooling the line on, uh, stop every couple of, say, every 150 yards or so and inspect the line lay. And so far, right now, the line lay looks good, so I'm just going to keep going. Now I'm going to have another look at the line lay, guys. As you can see, I don't know, can you see that? It's pretty, looks pretty good, looks straight and even. So I don't think I have to worry about adding or reducing washers. I'm just going to uh, continue spooling this up. Now 
there you go guys that's the that's the knot that I tied to the old braid so I know that I've got exactly 300 meters of braid on this and it's just perfect you can see it's filled right to the right right to the top and to the correct amount so I'm happy about that and you can see the line lay is perfect too okay guys so there you have it super simple super easy and easy to do it yourself now if you don't have a old reel that you can use to spool pre-spool the line onto it doesn't matter you could secure the spool uh, of braid any which way is easy for you this is just the way that i i like to do it i have an extra reel sitting here so yeah why not you know and i can play with the drag and uh, actually adjust the adjust the tension so that's what i really like you know the tension stays constant uh, hope you guys enjoyed this guys don't forget to like and subscribe hey there are more tutorials down in my channel make sure you check out the tutorial playlist and uh, yeah catch you guys on the next episode peace <laughs>